Monday. It's Franklin. I hope you know that Franklin hates Mondays. They're disgusting. I thought it was disgusting. No, it's disgusting. Well, I forgot what I was going to say next. Let's see what's going on on Monday. Good morning, Franklin. It's me, Mr. Incredible. Don't tell anybody it's actually me, Mr. Barrican, but I don't want anybody to know my secret identity. So it's me, Mr. Incredible. Um, I just want to make sure, uh, on a serious note, um, we've had some issues recently um, with cell phones. And um, just the other day, we had someone videoing in the gym and posted that video to Snapchat. So whoever was, and I don't know all the right terminology for social media because I don't have any, but whoever was that person's friend or like that person or whatever Snapchat vocabulary is, then had access to that video. And anyone who was though, were those people's friends had access, so you can imagine how big it might have gotten. And unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, we have a little policy called FERPA in the school district, in all school districts. That stands for Federal Educational Right to Privacy Act. And that means unless you have written permission from someone, you may not post a video um, outside of the school uh, of any of them. And I'm pretty sure those of you that have been, and I, my understanding is, is this is kind of running rampant. We've got people posting things on YouTube and on, on Snapchat and, and other places. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that that will stop. If I find out that you are videoing, and especially if you are videoing and posting anywhere, um, you will be not be allowed to bring your phone to school ever again. Um, not just turn it in, not just have it hidden, but you will not be allowed to bring it anymore, and we will check for those things. Um, also, there's been... I was walking through the cafeteria yesterday after I found out that this happened and was just looking around, and there were... A hundred people with their phones out, playing games, uh, showing text messages to other people, and just doing things on their phones. Um, most of it was probably harmless stuff, but I, we don't know that. So remember that our policy here at Franklin is that we do not see or hear your phone from first bell to last bell, with the exception of if a teacher says, we're going to use your phones in class today to do... Uh, you know, a survey, I can't remember what the name of those programs are, but there, there are several that the teachers use, so you can pick a multiple choice answer and it shows what everybody's answers were. If your teacher says you can do that, then you may have it out. If it's out at any other time, that includes passing time and lunch time, your phone will be taken away from you and will follow the policy. Remember, first time it ta is taken away, you can, we'll give it back to you at the end of the day. Second time, your parent has to come get it. The third time, it remains locked in our office for five days, and then your parent can come get it. And after that, you're not allowed to have your phone anymore. Um, unfortunately, you guys have used your phones inappropriately, and that's why we have to respond with more, with more strict following of the policy that's already there. Um, so, again, we're going to recap. Do not video and... Do not post videos or pictures or anything else anywhere outside the school. And your phone should not be seen or heard unless a teacher gives you permission to have it out in class to use for academic purposes. Please ask your parents not to text you during the school day. If they need to get a hold of you, they can call the office and we'll call you down and have you call them. And if they do text you, do not pull out your phone and text them back. Um, like I said, we things were going okay, and then when we find out that people are misusing their privileges, then those privileges get ringed in a little bit. So if you have any questions, feel free to stop by the office and talk to Mr. Verican, not Mr. Incredible, and we will I'll answer them the best I can. But those are the, those are the rules we're going to follow and how we're going to enforce this procedure going forward. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Job to everyone who made the basketball team and to everyone who tried out. See you later, Franklin.